glad you could join me today. You know, let's take just a quick detour from three. Let's go back up here to the arc of the sky. And let's put some clouds in. Okay, now I've got white and the gray. And there's just, there's just a touch of gray in the white. Just to, to match what we want. Okay, just like that. Okay, I'm going to put just, just a little bit of moisture on this to kind of loosen it up. Okay, now, let's just go up here in the sky and just put, put some clouds in, okay? It's just a matter of just tapping with a sponge, just like this. It's one of the easiest ways I know to put clouds in a sky. Just tap with the sponge like that, okay? And we'll bring these clouds right down here so they're going to disappear behind this hill, which is pretty much what we want them to do, okay? Just like that, okay? Now, we, now, we've, got, now we've got some clouds in our sky. And it was done very, very easily with a... Just a sponge, just a little itty bitty sponge like that. Some white paint and just enough gray in there to take it down to our level number one. And now we'll be ready tomorrow to put in number three or the angled plane. Okay. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, this is one of the things that... Uh, causes my viewers to dip a little bit, but it's important that I show this to you so that you know how you can get better depth in your painting. Okay, tomorrow we'll be back on track again, and I want to thank you for being here today. I love you. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm.